here we go I'll show you a little trick here um, got this piece of cable short little piece make some straps out of it it uh, got broke uh, if I remember right it's pulling with this one and oh I and I think it flipped over the block flipped over and it wasn't running through the block and it snapped it off and we'll uh, tie some farmer eyes in it and make a uh, little strap out of it farmer eye isn't gonna be as good as uh, tying an eye in it but they hold pretty good they'll let go before the cable parts but they hold pretty good so. let me try and find the spot here so maximize this we got this is unraveled a little we'll be cutting a chunk of this off but we'll uh, twist these right back in line with everything else uh -huh. so then we'll we'll come back here it's not rocket science but it is going to do some damage to this axe head so I got this world's stupidest splitter I think it's called a chopper or something some people rent and rave about it picked one of these up for at a yard sale it's the biggest piece of junk ever but it works good to beat on It's about time to take the grinder to it and touch it up. Because it rolls it over, but that's why I don't do it. One, one of my good axes. Then I'll just take an angle grinder and touch that up. So let's see here. So what you want to do is you want to identify a single strand. This will be, I have a core on it. So we get that one started. And we'll take the one next to it, the one next to that. We get them started. That's going to leave four total here, and then it'll leave three that we're peeling. And now we're peeling them all together. We're unraveling it. You can go back up here, twist those three together. Now I'll show you another method that we'll use on this other end, which the method with the axes is definitely a good one for when you're up in the woods and you break one you can tie it together uh, just a little four and a half with a cutoff wheel there we go now it's nice and clean to do it, but the obvious bonehead thing not to do is go in with your bare hands and grab hold of that quite yet, because it's it's a little warm. Give it a minute to cool off, and you get in there to get one of these 
individual strands started. Then we'll move forward to the next. And then get that one. See, that makes it a lot cleaner of a cut on them. And I'll wrap the end of the three back together. And then I'll keep, I'll start twisting this off. This is going to be a pretty short strap, but now we got enough here, we'll do a tighter little eye. And maybe we'll do one or two more. And you gotta look. See, that doesn't really want to lay in there. So we come around this way. We'll actually go one tighter on it here. There we go. Just you can make these come out just the right length to where they just kind of tie together at the bottom but I found I at least think they're a little bit stronger if you got a little tail on them that little bit sticking out otherwise right here you end up with just three strands holding right there and I find it often breaks right there if you don't do the little tail so the tail doesn't get it perfectly through there but Because you always have that little gap right there. But the other thing without a tail is sometimes you can... See, this one's actually going to have a shorter tail than I prefer. But without this little tail on there, you have the potential for it try and unravel so there we go see it's nice and tight the tail comes in figure out where I set my electrical tape down at Right behind the camera. And I'll start just a little bit in like that and give her several wraps. And this tape will wear off and I'll put some back on. But tape a little there, it's not perfect, but it. It helps keep him from getting like a little stick or something in there, trying to pull up on that. What I've heard of a lot of people doing that they say makes these stronger. You can make your own judgment there. Just put one cable clamp right here. Um, it, it may make it stronger. It's definitely going to keep it from trying to pull out, but I can guarantee you it isn't going to hurt anything either. But... Now that's set up pretty good. Short little strap. Those are handy to, you can use them as a choker, you can anchor your block with it, whatever. If I'm anchoring a block on a tree, here we go. Here we got one more. This eye was actually still on there, but was kind of beat up this one has a bit of a twist to it so. there we go sometimes getting in there it's real hard, especially after you cut it with a grinder. Sometimes it 
stick just a touch. Get in there with a screwdriver or pocket knife. And then see what I'm doing here is I'm twisting them off all together and the beginning ones that I pulled one at a time. You can stick them back together like that. And then you get that. Probably be advi advisable to wear gloves. The downside to wearing gloves is you lose some of that dexterity on it. But it's all up to whether you care if you jab a piece of cable in the end of your finger. It hurts a little. Guess what you got to be careful of is you uh, could get a little piece that breaks off in there. Fist her up. But... Oh, then out the end. See, that one's trying to get out of line there. You just kind of cinch it up. Then we push this one over here. Maybe have to show some more of this one. My oldest daughter loves to run the camera for me. And I'll maybe have to do this again when she's here because it's almost impossible to, for me to get a steady spot to where I can set the camera there, give a real good view. Then maybe I'll upload another one. You guys just let me know if that's something you're interested in. I can give you a more detailed view. Could take it into the bench and really kind of dissect it. But it is just kind of a hack and real quick, uh, I've always called them a farmer's eye. They're not as good as, like I said, tying an eye in, but they work. Definitely not OSHA approved or whatever you're safety department where you might be is but works good enough for uh dragging some firewood logs so let's get this uh cable all coiled up uh i'd show you how to do that but i suck at it so you're not going to learn anything from me on that one so get this off